Hello, welcome to the Baku Network meeting. As you know, presidential election took place in Azerbaijan. According to the report of the election commission, Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev became the winner of the elections. Congratulations. Today we will discuss the result of the presidential elections. With me, members of the expert consul Baku Network, editor-chief of the other news newspaper, Sevel Mikhailova, and deputy director, general trend news agency, Lina White-Kavichny. My question is, in what atmosphere did the elections take place? Welcome. Uh, first of all, I want to say that it was a great victory. The president could uh, gain the majority of votes. Uh, as to elections and the pre-election, post-election uh, post situation in the country, they were very transparent, they were very fair. Uh, as the international observers uh, who came to Azerbaijan to observe the elections noted uh, there was no shortcoming almost uh, during these polls. Uh, so Azerbaijan you know, sent in, has sent invitations almost to all international organizations and around 850 international observers were here present and they um, observed the elections across the country. They were very delighted with the, with the conditions created here for voters. Uh, the conditions were very fair so everyone uh, was free and there was no pressure. At the same time people went to the polls, the polling stations just uh, to vote for their future and this is uh, very obvious. Expressions do you have uh, like a foreign citizen from Europe who lives in Azerbaijan? I think uh, the results were predictable. Uh, why? Uh, you know, uh, especially generation, older generation who are now 40, 50 and older they remember uh, the beginning of, uh, of Azerbaijan uh, independence and uh, they value what they have today, safety and stability. And uh, I could say despite uh, the fact that the country in the conflict, I, it is safe and stable here and people value it. And you know, especially nowadays when we see so many conflicts around the world, I think it's one of the main factors or what, uh, why the Mr. Ilham Aliyev um, was uh, elected. Other thing that I would like to mention, it is development, uh, positive changes and achievements of the country. You know, everybody can see a lot of changes here. And what I mean, I mean, everybody can see development, developed infrastructure with good quality road. Everybody could see nice buildings, renovated hospitals, renovated schools, um, created new jobs, places, uh, growing of tourist flow. And you know, it's, it's also obvious for everybody that it was done a lot of things for country promotion. A lot of international events were organized. Uh, also, everybody can see attempts to diversify economy and, you know, results also we, we can see already. And uh, I should mention it's one of the important factors that the development in the regions, in the districts. So all these factors uh, created a basis for the new uh, cadence to, to the president. So I could say that people came here and voted for the safety, for the stability, for the started jobs to be continued. I think it's a very important sight. Uh, the people of Azerbaijan have uh, expectations for future. If we look back the, about the international rating of the country, it's very high. Azerbaijan has hosted numerous international large-scale events uh, over these years and at a high level. Uh, and I want to mention here a uh, holding of Eurasian uh, song yes. contest here in Azerbaijan. And after two years, Azerbaijan has hosted very large-scale international events, uh, the European Games, uh, which for the first time took place in a Muslim 
Muslim country, which was very remarkable, I think. Um, Azerbaijan coped with this task, and after two years, Azerbaijan has host, Azerbaijan hosted uh, Islamic Solidarity Games. Uh, the country is well uh, represented both in the Islamic uh, Cooperation Organization and in the Council of Europe, which is, um, I think, not so easy task to have very good presentation at these uh, two different organizations. And also, if we uh, trace back again and see what has happened in Azerbaijan over these years, we can see um, implementation of large-scale projects. Uh, they are regional projects, the projects which uh, are important not only for Azerbaijan, for the region, but for Europe as well. And Azerbaijan now acts as a security, as a energy security yeah. actor for the, for the European Union, which is very important. Yeah. So the country could cope with this uh, as well and could act in this scene very successfully. And now why people voted for Ilham Aliyev? The people, maybe his supporters, want these good changes, these uh, positive tendencies to continue. Uh, they voted for the future. They yeah. want these uh, developments to go far. And they want the future generations to live in safety and security. They want this progress to continue. Yes. And very interesting to know what your wishes about uh, our future, our citizens or Azerbaijan. It was so, uh, already a lot of here about achievements of the country. So my wish that uh, Azerbaijan will will be stable, safe. I wish you prosperity, the further developments. You know, you on the right track. So just keep going. The main factors of the development of Azerbaijan are the correct foreign policy line internal stability and the unity of the pupils. I think that the next period of Ilham Aliyev presidency will be successful as in previous years. Once again, we congratulate the president on his victory. Congratulations, Mr. President. We believe in our future. Congratulations to the people of Azerbaijan. Thank you very much for attending the meeting. Bye.